Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys an Invasion of Vengeance booster box opening. Uh, got this box for pretty cheap, you can see the price there. Saved up some store credit at the one locals I go to and used it to get the box for you guys. I thought why not, it's a pretty interesting set. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is the first box of Invasion Vengeance that I've gotten. Not sure if it'll be the last or not. Uh, not too, too many pricey cards in this set, but it's still a pretty sweet set with a lot of good support. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Start off from the left side. Pack number one. We have a Burnout and a Vola Chemicritter Methodraco. Two. Yeah, there's a couple of decks that I've already built from this set, which are the Crystrons. Working on Preta Plants next, so we'll see how that goes. Aromas Theri Rosemary and uh, Ultra Rare Dark Teller Knight Batla Maius. I've seen a couple people use that. People are still trying to use the Teller Knights at my locals, so they're trying to make it work. One Ultra down. Pack number three. We have a Super Koi Koi and a Cyber Angel Vrash. Very nice. I think I can't remember the last time I opened a box either on my channel. It's been a good while. Know that much. Nine Pillars of Yang Zing. And uh, King Synchro, I think the one card in the back, the present card's bent, but at least the hollow and the rares are okay. We'll keep moving along. Constellar Tempest and a Paleozoic Oba Pina. It's supposed to be, yeah, like a scorpion or something. After a good while, I lose count of the packs that I've done. Super Subterra Behemoth Burrowing. And oh, there's one of our secrets, Full Metal Foes Alkahest. Looks really nice. I think it's also a pretty good card for the Metal Foes. Let's pack. We have a Spiral Mission Assault. And oh, nice, the Dimensional Barrier, sweet. Very good secret, I'll take that. That's actually one I was hoping to pull. And we had the two secrets right in a row, too, on the one side. So pretty funny how that works. But very good. It really looks nice, too. Sweet. I was worried that after the Alkaist, what my next secret would be. Other than that. Flower Cardium Boardfly. And a Crystron Amatrix. Super rare. Still got three Ultras also. They're probably all on the other side too. If I know properly. Cleaves End. And a Crystron Quandex. Actually my first Quandex that I pulled. So never mind what I probably said. They're probably all going to be on the other side of the box. They're probably going to be nothing on the other side. That's what I meant to say. Preta Plant Fly Trap. And a sub terra behemoth stygro kraken. Two packs left on this box. Feels like I've opened a lot more from this set already. Red Eyes Insight and a Spiral Resort. I've said before, the spirals do look interesting. I know my girlfriend Marissa kind of wants me to build the deck, see how it works. Charming Resort Staff and a Full Meadows Fusion. So yeah, I think we've got two Ultras from that side so far. So there should be the other two on this side. I don't know, sometimes I go back and forth by just destroying the pack and then it smoothly opens like that. Preta Plant Flytrap and a Crystron Quan. I pulled a lot of those. The Dimensional Barrier was definitely a good pull. So I'm happy about that. Burnout and a pot of equid 
I'm and me and many others are gonna mess this up, but acquisitiveness. There we go. Then I'm gonna get the people that correct me in the comments by saying it's called pot of acquit, and then they're just gonna say, "You dude, you just spelled it, so you didn't really pronounce it for me." Polychemicrit or Dyxogre, and a true king Bahrestos, the fa the fathomer. I think this is. I don't know if this is a Draco Slayer card or not. I can't remember. But why do I feel like I've just pulled all my ultras? One, two, three. No, I've just pulled three. Okay. Thought I was hallucinating for a second. Red Eyes Insight. And a Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Launch. Nine Pillars of the Yang Zing. And a Paleozoic Opapenia. The back card's bent again. I gotta watch that. Luckily, none of the hollows have been bent. We have uh, Aromatherry. <laughs> I was gonna read off that as the rare. Polychemicritter. And a Teller Knight Genesis. Kind of cool you can see Cliffort Scout up in the top there. I know that the lores between them are all mixed together. Like, there's like another chem a uh, preta plant with a bend on it. It's kind of bad. You lower down the pack a little. See if that helps. Just rip it open. We have a Performer Pal Wimwitch. Oh my god, three secrets. It pulled totally awesome too. <laughs> Holy I'm watch the swearing, but that's three secrets in a box. God, that's oh my god, <laughs> sweet. We've pulled Imperial. I gotta show this because oh my god, my hands are shaking. That is amazing. We've pulled dimensional barrier and totally awesome out of one box. That is incredible. Not a, to mention the fact that we've pulled three secrets out of one box. I rarely see that happen anymore with these kind of boxes, but that is, <laughs> oh my God, whoa. That is, I can't even describe what I thought. I thought there'd be no more secrets in the box because they were all on the one side, but then, <laughs> holy yeah, shit, you know, that happened. That is incredible. I'll take that. That is downright amazing. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cool. And I'm glad I got it on film too. Saber Reflection and a King Synchro. <laughs> oh my god. That I you know, I thought my secrets were done, so I'm like, okay, cool. The rest of the packs will be but then just all of a sudden, bam, you know, you get totally awesome. <laughs> Holy crap. Four packs left. Do I have an ultra still? I don't remember. <laughs> you know, when you think, you know, there's no totally awesomes left, then bam, totally awesome. You're like, shit. I'm sorry, this is normally I try to be a kid-friendly channel, but that. Oh, and a Crystron Citri to finish it off. I think this is my fifth Citri that I've pulled. But, oh my, that is, like, really cool. Not to mention the fact that the box was on sale. But then I get pulls like that, too. I wouldn't say on sale. I used credit to get it. But either way, I'm very happy with that result. I will take it. Let's get this last pack open. Yeah, we'll get open later. Or, you know, we can try right now. There we go. Dragon Core Hexer and a Cyber Angel Vrash. Two packs left. I'm not complaining. This box was incredible. I should probably not count my luck and, you know, just stick with this. Flower Cardian Boardfly and a Metal Foes Fusion. Alrighty, so I don't know what this last pack has in store for us. It's probably a super, but the fact that we pulled three secrets is downright amazing. I'm happy with this box. You can see my emotions have also sprung up to Subterra Behemoth Burrowing and a Torque Tune Gear to finish it off. I know we gotta we gotta do a recap. I don't think I have all the supers and whatnot, but we got the majority of all of them. Some of them are all scattered, but we have three secrets from one box. That is, oh my gosh, incredible. I am like, like shocked because I haven't seen you with these new sets of one per hollow per uh, box. You usually get, you know, your set two secrets, 
four ultras, which I did get four ultras, so that's set. And then two secrets, but we pulled three secrets, and that's pretty amazing. You can see all the hollow recap that we got. But, like, bam, this totally awesome hit us right at the end, which is really cool. We got the dimensional barriers. We even pulled the two best secrets. Anyway, that was a great box. I'm glad I got to film it to show you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.